Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahama.com. In this portfolio tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use new customer list, which is inside audience manager and inside data segment, we have customer list. So how to use the segment? So let's get started. So once you're logging into your Google ads account, you need to hover over tools and then you need to click on shared library. And there inside we have audience manager. If you will click on the audience manager, you'll see the audience segment and inside the audience segment, we have option to create a remarketing list. If you'll click on that, we have options of customer list. If you'll click on that customer list, first option, we have to give the name for the audience segment we are creating. So I'm going to write down customer list purchased already. And in the last, I'm going to write down the date because every time you have to update the customer list in order to update your campaign. By default, Google keep these data for longer time. So you need to update this list at the interval of 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, whatever you feel correct. I always recommend people to target the fresh data. So I'm going to write down today date 7, 3, 7, 23. So this is today's day 3. 7 2023 by this i'll come to know when i update my data next option we have is to select the data type which you want to upload here you have option to upload email id phone number mailing list uh, address next option we have is user id for each and every option we have a template based on the template you have to upload the similar data if you click on this everything have their own template so in this video, I'm going to teach you about how upload email, phone or mailing address work. So I'm going to click on template. Once you click on the template, the template will get downloaded and use Google Excel to edit the file. So I'm going to search Google Excel. So Google sheet we got, go to Google sheet, go to blank one, file, import, click on upload browse a file download customer match list and open click import data now your data will be imported here you can see in this section you'll find email id first name last name country and then we have zip code then we have email id zip code phone number phone number here you can see we have dual phone number and dual email ID. It's not going to create any issue. You can assign your emails anytime you want while uploading. Let me give you an example. I created a sheet and uploaded here. And here you can see there's an error country zip code is missing. And to continue, either remove column B and C. They want me to remove and fix and upload. So if I click on this option, here is an option to assign the column. And Google will treat that column as that email ID, phone number, name. By default, Google choose their own. And for fixing here, Google gave me a clue, the remove column B and C, and then you can upload it. That means all the values, email ID, first name, last name, phone number, country, and zip is important. So make sure you should not delete the first name, email id last name country zip what are the duplicate thing that you do not want you can remove that let's assume i do not want duplicate zip and i do not want duplicate phone number so i'm going to select it and i'm going to delete it but you can create double phone number options like the way they have given you in case if the customer have two phone numbers now add your customer email id in this area the name last name if anything is blank avoid it blank only but don't change the sequence name first name last name country zip code phone number do not change these things you can leave it as blank no issue once you are done with the filling of these data go to files go to download and download as csv don't download it as xls you should download it as csv now go back to your google ads account click on browse upload the file 
and there we have to select the data collection now we have to select the google data policies and make sure you should comply with these policy once that is done next option we have is a membership by default there is no expiry for this particular membership or the numbers so in case if you want to add an expiry to these audience you must add a date of 60 days or 30 days and you should keep on updating these data at the interval of few days scroll down and once that is done click on save and continue and here you can see the data is uploaded correctly now i'm going to click on done and here you can see it's populating and by this name i can think like what is the date for which i uploaded this one now what we have to do go to your audience of your campaign so first step click on google ads home page then select the campaign where you want to assign this audience so i'm selecting this one call only ads as a google digital marketing ads and then inside that we have audience keywords click on the audience if you scroll down there's an option to add the audience segment click on campaign you can also add based on the ad group label but i want to go for campaign label i want to click on browse here they have interacted with the business customer list and then select a list i want to click on save now we have assigned our audience so if we we'll click on the table you can see the customer match list there's a bidding adjustment option but you cannot adjust the bidding because there is a policy google is having a policy for the bidding adjustment and other data in case of customer match the google want you to spend $50000 lifetime spend and there should not be any compliance issue on your account then only you can do manual adjustment bidding and we can do exclusion and we can add based on observation we cannot do targeting based on unless we have $50,000 lifetime spent in our Google Ads account so I'm going back let's assume these users are my purchaser so what mind I can apply let's assume what are the customer lists we have uploaded I do not want to target it as for the audience they are my customer already they purchase something from me so why don't I exclude that data so I'm going to remove it from here go to confirm and I'll go down and there's exclusion click on exclusion based on the campaign again go to browse go to data segment customer list select the list click on save and now these people will not be able to see our ads and we excluded our customers indirectly there is one more method to assign or the exclude the audience is go back to your audience manager and inside that choose your segment that we created just now customer list we created now and if you we'll click on this small three button there's option to add add to the ad group add to the campaign we want to add to the campaign and here we have option to select to the campaign choose next and based on the observation i told you we can assign because we haven't reached the 50000 lifetime spend for this portal account as per google policy next click on add audience segment we'll click on the eligibility you could be able to see now that is applied next option we have the eligibility if you click on eligibility you can see we can use customer match list for these options except the app app installation and the app engagement only this much was there in the customer list i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you